filter so that we could get water out of the rainy in, in the winter. Um, I think that's still important to do. I would advocate that we look in both places. I thought we could look in the wells that we were told existed at Gobi Street on the land we just acquired. I would think that by bailing or something else there, we could find out quite a bit about that geology and that as a water source without having to drill a new hole. But even if it came to the point where we needed an additional hole, I would support it as an additional hole. I have, I have no particular interest in or not in having the same firm drill that hole. Uh, so much time has passed, it wouldn't hurt my feelings if we went out and looked for other potential vendors for that service. But I, I would be in support of two rather than just one. Two test two test holes at, on that that one at Gobi Street and one at the land we already possess at the water treatment plant mm. because the one at the water treatment plant offers us the possibility of a well there in lieu of a well on land that is somebody else's that is close enough to the treatment plant that we can get the water that we're there without having to get it back under the freeway. Mm. And uh, it also gives us a view of the geology to, to make a determination if we've got a shot at pushing a lateral from the Rani in that direction to utilize the Rani as a collector, as it is now in the winter, we have too much turbidity, too much guck in the water. And the treatment plant we have isn't able to deal with that much stuff. If we had the ability to take water out of that collector that was somewhat cleaner, which may happen a bit farther from the river, and by having a lateral that went to the west from that collector instead of as they primarily do now going under the river or towards the river, that may give us what we need on a site we already possess where we have facility. Uh, Council Member Roden. Well, I want to ask staff, there must be some reason why we didn't test over there. Uh, was it the, tur the turbidity issue? The uh, I mean, because we had a list, I remember we had a list of 10 places and we didn't choose that. No, we- Why, why didn't we? We lost the well driller. We, we preferred the, the Brush Street site and, and there's, a, there's a possibility to figure out the turbidity issue yeah. with using the existing Randy by valving off the river, the, the fingers that go under the river, and then using the ones that extend towards the west. And that, that's what they're gonna try to do this winter. Now, it, it probably doesn't go as far as Council Member Crane would like to, and, it, and it, it's, there's no guarantee that we're gonna get the results we want, but it's certainly another way to get that data. It's not gonna tell us what the material is or the strata or what, 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 what Council Member Crane was, was talking about. I think that was part of the concern that we brought this issue back um, so that we satisfy what we thought the council directed us to do. And I think that council member had Crane had some questions about that. But what I hear you saying is you really want to have a well drilled at the water treatment site. It's my preference. Mm -hmm. Rather than this alternative testing. If, if we're only gonna do one, I'd prefer to see it at the treatment site. If we can evaluate the asset at Gobi Street in another way, fine. If mm -hmm. not, then I would support drilling another hole there. But my first choice remains where we said to do it. To have a well drilled at the well at the water treatment right. plant. That's my first choice. If I could just add one one clarification. The, we're not talking about a test bore at the Gobi Street site. We already have had two wells there. As you, and so we're talking about a test well there. That's a more expensive, that, that's kind of the second phase. So we're not talking about a test bore, which is a, I'll make up some numbers, this is a $20,000 type of effort where a test well, we're gonna be talking about 
more like a fifty thousand dollar, and that's where you actually say, okay, this is the kind of production we're going to. Not is there water there, but you start asking yourself, you start getting the data. What kind of production we're we actually going to get out of this, and can it become a full blown well? So the Gobi Street site, we wouldn't be doing a test bore, which is what we'd be doing at the water treatment plant. So they're they're a little bit different. Uh, Councilmember McCowan. Well, to what degree do the existing wells at Gobi, I'm, they've obviously given an indication, yes, there's water there, that's why we're not doing the test for, we're doing the test well. But you're not able to get an indication of potential uh, volume out of the existing wells? Is that because they are relatively shallow or what's the issue? Right, we, they're, not, they're not deep enough to get that kind of information. The, it's similar to the we, we did a test bore on the Thomas property on Brush Street, and we have, uh, we know there's water there, but now we need to, you know, do a test well there and get the real, real data on, is this something <coughs> we want to make a full-blown well out of or not? So this is, there's kind of three steps. It's, it's a test bore, a test well, and a, and, a f and a full well, and of course, each one ratchets up the price. So you're, you're rolling, a, you know, you, each time you, go up to that next step, you're sort of, you know, you, that money in the, that you've already spent, you're, you're hoping the next one pans out because if it doesn't, you lose that, that first. The water treatment site uh, that's been identified, that would be a, a test bore? That would be a test point. bore. And then the cost of that, I think 20,000? It, it was 17 when we had the driller on site. So if, if, we, ha if we did both of them, then it would probably be in this. We don't have a firm quote. We would probably go back out because we don't have a, we don't have a quote for the, the test well itself so, or the the proposed test well on the Gobi Orchard, but it's somewhere between fifteen and twenty thousand. I think what we and do. and then the uh, the test well at Gobi fifty thousand ballpark ballpark. So there is apparently enough funds or potentially enough funds here to do both. Th there are. Um, it's just. The water fund is, is 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 real slight right now, so that that's my hesitation with the water treatment plant. I don't I don't d disagree. We get great information out of it. Yeah, I, and I think that where staff is coming from is that they saw it as an efficient, as perhaps a more efficient use of the funding allocated to do this uh, testing of the turbidity in another way. Which is. So are there two separate possible proposals at the water treatment plant? One is to extend or simply to, to valve off the riverside laterals and use the existing uh, inland laterals to see how much water we can get in the winter without a turbidity problem. That's one potential scenario down there. And then it sounds like what Councilmember Crane has in mind would be an additional well down there. Of course, we already do have a well at that location, which uh, can't be operated at the same time the Rani's collected, or the Rani collector is operated. So is the, the other potential site, or have we identified a specific site, and we think it could operate at the same time as the Rani? We don't know that right now. So that, that, that's something we'd have to, have to find out. Council Member Thomas. Um, I'm a little confused. Um, during winter months, the turbidity of water coming from the Rani collector as it now stands um, is, is too high, but is that a time of year when we are uh, really seeking to increase the water supply? We don't use the um, water treatment plant in the winter. So, so, so we're not using the water treatment plant in the winter for that reason. Did that not answer the question? Did I miss it? Council Member Crane. It's my understanding that there have been winters when there's been a problem and we've had to buy water from other agencies because we couldn't clean up the water.